morning students in this video we will learn what is uniform velocity and how it is different from non uniform velocity we will recall what is the definition of velocity we know that velocity is rate of change in displacement and if a definition starts with the word rate then we know that the quantity should be divided by time so displacement by time will give you the velocity of a moving body and the si unit is meter per second so we know that velocity is a vector quantity and it is a rate of change in displacement which has both the magnitude the number with the direction specified so velocity is nothing but the speed specified with the direction right and now we will learn in this video what is uniform velocity how when will you say that if a body is having an uniform velocity if a body covers equal displacement in the same direction in equal intervals of time then the body is said to have uniform velocity so we already know that what is uniform speed we have already learnt in 6th standard if a body covers equal distances in equal interval of time then the body is said to have uniform speed suppose if a car is moving 30 km per hour and if it is going to maintain the same speed then we say that the car or the body is having a uniform speed but in the case of velocity since velocity is a vector quantity both the displacement that is distance covered along the direction should remain same only then we can say that the body is having a uniform velocity so just replace this word distance by displacement and along with the direction specified so now how will you define uniform velocity if a body covers equal displacement since velocity is a rate of change in displacement if the displacement covered is equal in equal interval of time and if there is going to maintain the car ob object is going to maintain the same direction if it is going to move in the same direction then the body is said to have uniform velocity so shall we recall the definition if a body covers equal displacement in the same direction in equal interval of time then the body is said to have uniform velocity now let us consider an example if a car is traveling with a speed of 30 km per hour towards the direction say south or north whatever may be if there is no change in the direction that is if it is going to follow the same straight line towards south and if it is going to maintain the same speed that if it is going to cover for every one hour if it is going to cover 30 km then the body or the car is said to have a uniform velocity but is it practically possible on road no the speed you cannot maintain the same speed or you cannot even maintain the same direction so it is not practically possible but still we should know that if a body is covering equal displacement in the same direction in equal interval of time then the body is said to move with uniform velocity so now one more uh, example for uh, something moving with a uniform velocity is your light light travels with a speed of 3 lakh kilometer right what is the speed of light i'll write with a different pen 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second every second it covers this uh, distance and in uh, it travels the same direction in a straight line in vacuum v a c u u m so vacuum is nothing but without uh, anything air in space so light travels with uh, uniform velocity since it maintains the same direction the straight line and it maintains the same speed we say that light travels with an uniform velocity now we will discuss uh, with a problem as you know that uh, a body cannot maintain on road the speed cannot be maintained the direction also is subjected to change so speed if the speed changes and if the direction changes the body is said to have a non uniform velocity right so on practically on road if the object is going to change the speed if the body is going to change the direction then the body is said to have a non uniform velocity it will not have an uniform velocity because the speed changes and if the direction changes so in that case how will you find the velocity or the average velocity is what we actually find out for the object moving with the varied velocities that is non uniform velocity we calculate the average velocity that is given by the formula the total displacement of the moving body from the initial to the final position by the total time taken for the journey so how will you def uh, how will you write the formula for an average velocity total displacement by the total time taken so now we will discuss with an example how will you calculate the average velocity now you just say a uh, thing that you are walking along east 
covering a, uh, a distance of 4 meter and then 2 meter south and then 4 meter towards west and at last 2 meter towards north. You cover a total distance in 21 seconds. Find the average speed and average velocity. Now let us do this problem so that you will have a better understanding. So first we let us calculate the speed, average speed we know what is the formula, the total distance by total time taken, right. So average speed I will write in short form AV is average, so average speed is total distance by total time taken, total distance covered by the total time taken. So which is equal to the total distance is 4 meter plus 2 meter plus 4 meter plus 2 meter. You don't have to worry about the direction because speed is just a scalar quantity. We are just going to add the total distance covered. So 4 meter plus 2 meter plus 4 meter plus 2 meter divided by the total time taken is already given as 21 seconds. So it comes 12 meter 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 is 12 meter by 21 seconds. So this we have to divide and get the average speed. Now let us uh, do the division and uh, uh, simplify it later. Now we will move on to average velocity. We know that average velocity is total displacement by the total time taken, right? Since velocity is a vector quantity, we have to take the displacement into consideration. Now, how will you find the total displacement? We know that we have to give uh, that signs for the displacement uh, depending on the direction that it falls, right? So, 4 meter east. Now, let us uh, just have a, have a drawing here. Uh, we, uh, you know this is north, this is south, this is east. And this is west. So 4 meter towards east. Now here is a starting point. 4 meter towards east. And then 2 meter south. So towards down. 2 meter south. Right. And then 4 meter towards west. 2 meter south and then 4 meter towards west. So it moves 4 meter towards west. And then 2 meter towards north. North. So now can you just find out that you are back to a position. Your initial and final position is the same. So when you give the east direction plus 4, the west direction should be given as minus 4. And the displacement towards the south is plus 2 meter, towards north is given as minus 2 meter. So they both cancel. Since they are of opposite signs, they cancel. So the total displacement is 0. Am I right? So average velocity is nothing but... Total displacement which is 0 by total time taken is 21 second. So 0 meter by 21 second is equal to 0 meter per second. So average velocity is 0 since the initial and final position are the same. Hope you followed. Since there is no change in the initial and final position, the displacement is 0. So average velocity is 0. So this is how we calculate the average velocity by taking the formula total displacement by total time taken. Right. So in, on road, the car or whatever body moves will have a change in speed and direction. So we just calculate the average velocity using this formula. So learn the formula. Hope you followed. Thank you.